I just walked nearly 15k for a fundraiser. So um, if I look a little bit um, off it, um, then I'm probably, it's probably because I'm a little bit off it. But anyway, it's, we can't repress um, getting our result for the uh, uh, our geocaching trackable race. So this week, as I predicted, two travel bugs had activity, probably because I sprayed the other one on. You can check out the video, oh gosh, here. So the first unfortunate news is that um, Candy Daniel's Night King trackable has vanished off the face of the planet. Um, no one knows where it is right now. It's been reported as missing, and because it's been reported as missing, it's earned the last gasp award. Um, and if this continues on and it's not found again and sort of all of that stuff, then it, it pretty much wins the um, died for the cause like memorial tribute thing. Piger doesn't give two bucks. The little two dollar bill um, from Piger um, has managed to earn 33 points courtesy of traveling, I think it was 14 caches. Again, movement is better than none, so it moves up to the top of the rankings. So Piger's trackable surpasses its only Barney's trackable to take uh, first place. It's only Barney slides down to second. The Night King's uh, trackable, Kenny Daniel's trackable, was enough to bring it to third place thanks to the point boost of last gap but that's really all the points it earns from here on in let's update you on how the other trackables are doing the power moon has been in an anonymous young couple's hands uh, since a, an event that basically launched at the ASP Geobash. Uh, Mad Mummy has been dropped in an area and stays there for the moment. Nothing's happened to it. I guess it hasn't been accessed or anything, or just no one's picked it up. Divine Amorphosis Art Project is stuck in North Sydney. Can somebody please go pick that up? Santa Duck, unfortunately, seems to have gone missing from the ASP Geobash, and as with all things that get discovered and picked up at Mega's... I don't know where it is... Sydney the Echidna was last seen at a truck stop. Okay. Maddie's license to travel is... I'm not quite sure because the logs are apparently in French and neither I nor this is not Rose can figure out what's going on. Our precious Morley the Eevee is still somehow in Ohio! And the cat with human feet is still in its only Barney's hands. It hasn't really seen any action since the event. This is the fate to be expected with a trackable race. Trackables get stuck, they get stagnant, they get held all over the place. And that's just the way it is for most of that. Okay, with all that in mind, here are the week four standings. Also, if you're wondering where the cat is, he's right over there. Oh, look, here's the cat. The camera is over there. Half the time, they're not even here to see me. They're here to see you. Anyway, what lies in store for week five? I don't know. There may be some movement. We may see things gaining points moving forward. It's been an unpredictable few weeks, except for the one week where nothing moved. But you know what, that's fine. Emotional highs and lows in any trackable race, I guess. And as my image shrinks and the, uh, the related videos come up on that side, I'd just like to say thank you for tuning in to all of our updates so far. As usual, if you want to follow up with all of the shenanigans, there's the subscribe and bell icon somewhere on this side of the video uh, page thing. And thanks for watching. Thanks for following up. We'll see you in the next week. Sorry, this is late. Really sorry this is late. I didn't, have, I didn't have time to film before today, and today I can't even get up from this chair without being in a whole heap of pain, so this was the best time to record it. And now I'm going to eat dinner.